What's up guys, Gmez here and welcome to episode 3 of my Swanja City career mode. Um, I had one issue with, this was really supposed to be the 4th episode, but the 3rd episode that was really supposed to actually be the 3rd episode. I like the file corrupted and everything and I wasn't able to upload it so this this will be in the first in the original episode as we originally be in the third episode we had our first two games in the BPL which we lost we lost the first game to Chelsea 1-0 and we lost the second game to um, Newcastle also 1-0 so right now we're 0-2 in the league I'm really sorry about that but not, not much else really happened then we also signed a new player um, Solid March as you can see right there is another new signing we brought in since uh, IU got injured, I want to try to pick up someone to be a backup right midfielder just to you know, be able to replace IU or just to put him in when IU's tired or anything like that. So as you can see, I showed the league table. We're at the bottom of the league 0-2 right now. Not, not, not the best start we're looking for, obviously. Um, as we take on Sunderland here in the first game of today's episode, uh, we're looking for a win here to, to get some confidence in, you know, after the first two losses. I mean, we played pretty well against Chelsea, we played a lot better than I thought we would have, but we obviously still lost. And then against Newcastle, we didn't play good at all. The, like, like, we played horribly, to be honest with you. Like, we deserved to lose that game. And the first um, chance comes in the eighth minute, and it goes to Sunderland as we give the ball away here. Sunderland keep possession, they go out wide, they cut back inside, cross it in, and their player misses the header as it goes out for a throw in. Second chance here also comes Sunderland in the 15th minute. They pass around and shoots and it goes right just wide of the post. Good opportunities for Sunderland, but both times they couldn't capitalize on them. And the next opportunity comes to us here. Wilson takes it. He runs outside. He fakes shots, goes back inside. And I'm kind of surprised that wasn't a uh, penalty, to be honest. I mean, obviously his arm was up. He shut him down. So in my opinion, that should have been a penalty. But according to the referee, it wasn't. As you see here, Sunderland passed the ball around. They keep passing it around. They pass it out. They keep good possession of the ball. They pass it, pass it, and they just keep passing. I mean, we couldn't. It was really hard for us to get the ball off of them here at this uh, point. And finally, they they go on the attack. They do a nice through ball, and as he runs up, he cuts inside. He goes away, shoots. He goes just wide of the post. Another good opportunity for Sunderland, but again, they fail to capitalize on the opportunity. And in the 33rd minute here, shot by Shelby, easily saved by the keeper, right at him. Easy save for the keeper, but. Nice opportunity for us. And you can see here, what an amazing save by Ruley. Point blank save, and then he, and on the rebound, he just shoots it over the net, wide empty net, somehow just blasts it over. Another opportunity for Sunderland, but they don't capitalize once again. And as you see there, we had a chance for Montero, which has chipped the goalie, but easy save for him. And in the 45th minute, nice back heel pass by Sigurdsson to Montero. Montero cuts inside, he keeps running, he shoots, and I don't know what that was, to be honest. That was just an awful shot by Montero. Um, and that, that was it for the first half. Um, and 0-0 zero, zero in the first half. Both teams had some good opportunities. Um, Sunderland, in my opinion, played better than us in the first half, but hopefully we, we can bounce back in the second half. In the first chance here, we go into Sunderland and we intercepted it, and then they commit the foul, but the referee plays the advantage. And then we try to go on the counter, we lose it, and then they get it back again, they take it back into our half. They cross it in, heads it off the crossbar, and cleared away by um, Williams. Nice, nice defensive play by Williams there to be alert and get there in time and clear it away. And another opportunity here in the 55th minute. Sunderland, the shot goes wide of the post. Not easily, uh, it was an easy thing for a ruler to deal with. And off of there, we get a free kick. Taylor is past that right of Ronhell. Ronhell runs down the side. He fakes shots. He loses possession of the ball. Sunderland had the ball now. And then, yeah, we, it was a horrible... Uh, thing for us on the free kick there. I mean, we just lost possession easily. And then nice pass to Montero. He controls it. He fakes. He does a nice uh, Ronaldo chop inside, and he shoots. And what a save by the Sunderland goalkeeper. Uh, another opportunity for us. I feel like we should have scored on, but uh, Montero again. He did really well to get in, but he see like Montero's a really good player. I really like him. Like he has really good skill, really good dribbling. But like I feel like once like he can dribble past everybody. But then once his chance to shoot, most of the time he just misses or the goalie saves it. And as you see here, Sunderland scored the first goal. Jermaine Defoe scores it to make it 1-0 for Sunderland. And in the 86th minute here, they pass it around. Sunderland, he beats our defenseman, passes it to Jermaine Defoe, and Defoe scores again. Getting a second goal for Sunderland, putting them up 2-0. Um, at that point in time, I was really frustrated. We ended we ended up losing 2-0 Sunderland, another loss, which is really frustrating. Um, 
losing the first three games of the season is really, really frustrating. I was hoping for a much better start than that. As you see here, we look for a new striker, Angel Correa. We offer three million plus Gomez for him. Um, I like Wilson a lot, but I feel like we need another striker that could that be more, you know, more of a deadly striker than Wilson because I mean he hasn't really been performing well when I started him in games. Um, as you see, they rejected the first offer, so we offer again, and then they rejected the second offer, so the third offer we decided just to take Gomez out of the offer and just offer it straight. It's a valuation thirteen million, and they accept that thankfully. Uh, we offer 80000 a week, important first-team player for four years. I think Angel Correa will be a really good pickup. I mean, he's a nice pacey striker. He has good finishing, good dribbling. So I feel like he'd be a really good addition to the team. I mean, I like Wilson, but he just hasn't been performing to the to his abilities, in my opinion. I mean, I feel like he'd be playing a lot better than he's been playing recently for us. And, yeah. And in today's second and final uh, game of the episode, we take on Gillingham in, uh, in the FA Cup. So, this is our starting 11. We're going to put editor up front with uh, Sung Young, Montero, Ayu, Lucas, Tielemans, Amata, Alfie, and Hanley. Um, I, I take this tournament seriously. You know, I'm going to start my starting 11. I like to win as many uh, uh, trophies as I can with this team. And, oh, I'm sorry, Capital One Cup. Sorry, that was the FA Cup. Uh, I correct myself. Capital One Cup. Sorry. Uh, the first chance here goes to Gillingham, and this is the worst possible start to the match we could have ever had. Um, Three minutes in, they cross it in, and we get an own goal. Um, worst possible start to the game. We should be winning this game. I mean, this is like a third, second, third division team. I mean, this should be easy win for us. And in the ninth minute here, Ayu fake shots around his defender. He runs and he shoots, and he shoots wide of the post. Again, another opportunity wasted by us. Um, perfect chance to even up the score there, and we just wasted. And then here in the, in the 13th minute, they run past our defense. I don't know what the AI player was doing there. He ran outside. I don't know why he would run outside away from the box for it. He could have passed it into the middle. But anyways, he crosses it in. Uh, Ruley punches it away. And they keep possession and they shoot. And then it's easy easy pickings for are you, uh, for Ruley, sorry. And for some reason, I was this like, blew my mind, this call. I don't know how in the world this is a penalty in any way. I... Did, that makes no sense to me. He barely touched it. There's barely any contact there. It's it's so easy to concede penalties in this game. And as you see off the penalty, off the crossbar, and his, another attempt is he messed up on the attempt and really easily dives onto it. And now there for the first half. Um, really really poor first half from us. Um, we should be winning this game to be honest with you. Like easily like maybe three four no by now. But for, they just play a lot better than us so far. And you see there we bring on Wilson for it. Like we bring on Wilson to take off Edder. Um, maybe Wilson can do something for us here in this half. And the first chance Wilson has with the with the ball, he shoots it off the post, goes out for a goal kick. Um, I, I don't know. I was just really disappointed with the way we played so far this game. Like, I mean, obviously, and you you can't. I mean, you can't always say, oh, on paper, like since we're the better team on paper, we're gonna win. But I mean, honestly, we should be able to win this game, in my opinion, easily, even. Not looking at the stats of the team, like the players we have and everything still. And then the shot goes wide there from Montero. And then in the 82nd minute here, Wilson has another opportunity. Once again, another opportunity wasted by us to even up the score. We have so many chances to tie up the scores in many games or go ahead or anything. And we always waste so many opportunities. Like That's also really frustrating because like if we can't capitalize on the opportunities that we're given, then we're not going to, I mean, then it's not going to be a really good season for us, you know, like. When we have really good opportunities, we should be able to capitalize on them and get a goal. And that's how the game ended. I was really frustrated after that game, after losing that game. Um, we should have won. Obviously, we didn't. Um, really frustrated. Really, really bad result. First four games of the season, we ended up in losing all four of them. And here's Correa's stats at 85 dribbling. dribbling. Um, he can play strike or cam. Uh, that's pretty much it for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.